everyone, Sarah Grace back with you and we are gonna start a new series over here along with lots of other videos but on my Dietech internship clinical rotations. I know a lot of you are either aspiring to become a dietitian and become a Dietech intern like I am right now or you just have questions about it or you might just think it's interesting. So once a week I'm gonna come back here and put together different things I've learned, just different experiences I've had and anything of the sort, so stay tuned. Just some things I've learned this first week. Day one, remember where you parked if it's a very large parking garage, because after a very long nine hour shift, the last thing you wanna do is spend an hour trying to find your car. Yes, that was me. Didn't even realize I was in the wrong parking garage. <sighs> Number two, dress warm because it's usually freezing in the hospital. Number three, prepare to see anything. You know, my mom's in the medical field as a nurse anesthetist, and I always said, I don't wanna go into the medical field. Hospitals freak me out. Anything with beeping noises, people on support, all that stuff, no, I can't do that. It makes me, ooh. Well, I picked to become a dietitian, and here I am in the hospital and seeing every and anything that comes in. <laughs> Another lesson I learned, weight doesn't mean very much when you look in the system. I swear they take weights almost once a day there and you'll look into the notes from one day to the next and it'll vary like three to seven kilograms, which is, if you know, a lot of weight. So weights are usually not very accurate and you can't really go too much based off of them. You kind of have to take them with a grain of salt. Another thing you have to take with a grain of salt, what patients tell you. <laughs> I've learned one thing, human beings can't always be trusted. Um, we'll go in there and ask them how their food intake has been, have they been able to eat, and they'll say, yes, my food was great, I ate almost all of it, and then we'll look into the system where the nurses jotted it down, and it will say like 10% of their meal, or something like that. So can't really trust everyone. You kind of have to go based on doctor's notes and nurse's notes and everything like that. Oh, and then one other tip I'm gonna leave off with. Make sure you're constantly lotioning your hands at home because they get super, super dry because before and after you enter and exit every single patient room, you have to use that hand sanitizer. So that's a lot of hand sanitizer in one day and your hands get super, super dry, along with being cold if it's cold in there. So the combination just isn't good. Use lotion. <laughs> Especially if you're doing CrossFit like me beforehand every day because you're almost ripping your hands on the bars and then you're going in and using hand sanitizer. Not a good combo. So just a little brief overview. It's a three month clinical rotation. I'm doing two months and then taking a month off so that I can go help the Minnesota Twins dietitian for spring training. And then I'm gonna come back for my third month. Every six to seven days, it might be different for every single person in every hospital you're in. But for me, every six to seven days, I switch dietitians that I'm shadowing and start shadowing someone else with different floors on different units of the hospital. So I get to experience a little bit of everything. This first week, I'm following a very young dietitian that's really fun to be around. Around. She has a pulmonary floor, she has a GI floor, and then she has a general med floor. Honestly, it does mean something because like the pulmonary floor has a lot of tube feeding and TPN, but <sighs> I have to tell you guys, just because it's a pulmonary floor doesn't mean that's their only issue. A lot of people come in with one problem and have 10 other issues going on. Even though it's pulmonary floor or GI floor, I've gone to see a lot of trauma. We had to visit the ICU because one of her patients had to go down to the ICU that was on her floor originally, all this kind of stuff. So just a typical day, we get into the hospital and we do screening of all the patients on her floor, which ones we need to see, which ones have follow-ups that we need to see, which ones have consults that doctors have already put into the system that they need to see the dietitian, or which ones just meet certain criteria that mean that they need to see a dietitian. Then after we do that, that takes the first 30 minutes to an hour, then we actually go up and just start visiting patients constantly. And we'll visit one or two patients and then we'll go check in into one of the computers on the floor and type in the note. Typing in the note is strenuous like it's you have your mind has to fully be there it's exhausting physically and mentally the whole day because once you're done for the day your mind has been so strained the entire day you have to be mentally present as well as physically present the entire day because you're either talking to patients or you're writing notes into the system that are a kind of a big deal 
you're constantly, before you write any person's note in the system, you have to look at the doctor's notes, you have to look at the nurse's notes, you have to look at the speech pathologist notes, you have to look at the wound care doctor notes, everything before you kind of make your consensus on what this patient needs nutrient wise, <clears throat> what kind of tube feeding they need if they're on tube feeding, like what formula, what their nutrient needs are, depending on if they have wounds that increase their needs, whether they have a disease that increases their needs, whether so many different things. So yes, a lot. I got to give my first consult all by myself. The dietitian didn't even come in with me. It was on weight loss and weight management and this lady was over 500 pounds. A lot of issues come with that and I just kind of gave her the general tips but it was really fun and she was a, such a sweet lady so it was great talking to her. All right, so today was a long first day of clinicals. Um, I had to be there at 7.30 in the morning for orientation with the head director of nutrition. And we spent the first like four hours of the morning just literally going over, let me, let me just show you, all of this. <laughs> So in like four hours, we went through all of this information. It was supposed to be a review, kind of a review, kind of not. Um, so anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave you off with this first week. Very sporadic, sorry, but comments below on any questions and I'll try to answer them. <laughs> Bye guys.